What's up everybody? Welcome back to Horsepower Obsessed. Thanks for pressing play today. We are going to talk about the C8 Corvette Z06. A bunch of awesome details that have been circulating about the car for a while now, but most specifically we're going to talk about one of the options you may not want to get. All right, guys, so before we get started, if you could be so kind, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up on this video so it circulates YouTube and allows their algorithm to deliver this video to as many other C8 Corvette Z06 enthusiasts as possible. While you're at it, if you could please smash that subscribe button and hit the little bell notification so you do not miss any videos like this in the future, that would be fantastic. I would greatly appreciate it. But anyway, guys, jumping into the C8 Corvette Z06 information, we have talked about this car a lot on the channel, and there has always been circulating rumors of different engine possibilities, different horsepower numbers, and a couple different options that the car is very likely to get. Now, in this video, we are going to talk about one of the options you may want to avoid. And it kind of hurts me a little bit because it's one of the options I would absolutely love to have, but there is some reliability issues with it. Before we get into that though, let's talk about some of the almost quote unquote confirmed details of the C8 Corvette Z06, and that is a big one being the flat plane crank engine. Now, for those of you who don't know and aren't keeping up with the C8 Corvette Z06 information, the C8R race car, the Corvette branded race car, uses a flat plane crank engine, and that is very likely to be the engine that the C8 Z06 bases their architecture off of. Now, there's a couple different rules in place that Chevy had to make sure was done properly in order to use a similar engine in a street car. Chevy has done that. So there is a very good chance that the C8 Z06 gets that 5.5 or a 5.2 liter flat plane crank V8 engine. Now, whether or not it's going to be naturally aspirated or possibly twin turbocharged is something that hasn't quite been solidified yet. If you guys have been keeping up with the information on my channel, you'll know that there is a huge debate going on about this. And there's been supposedly leaked rumors suggesting that one or the other is a very good possibility. So what I mean by that is I've heard 50% of the internet saying absolutely no way it will be twin turbocharged. It's going to be naturally aspirated. Chevy wants to go back to the roots of the Z06 with it being a naturally aspirated track focused car. But then I've heard the other 50% of the internet saying absolutely not. We've seen the leaks that show a twin turbocharged engine that looks a lot like the flat plane crank that the Z06 is going to be getting and that's what they're going with. With that said, I have literally gotten leaked information from people who claim to work for Chevy or have someone in their family that works for Chevy telling me one or the other. So even me personally, the information I'm being given shows that it's kind of divided. And again, we've talked about this in the past, it kind of seems like a possibility at least that we may get both engines. Maybe the base Z06 gets the naturally aspirated engine while maybe the Z07 package gets the twin turboed engine. It would definitely be an interesting decision on Chevy's part and I know it would be a costly decision to do something like that. So that's why I'm kind of leaning towards it's not gonna be two separate engines, but at the same time, I am consistently getting this information that it will be twin turbocharged and then I also get information again saying, no, it's going to be naturally aspirated. So that's kind of up in the air. But either way, it's going to be pretty cool. Because we have seen the videos where you can actually hear the flat plane crank engine in the Z06. And it sounds like a freaking race car. <laughs> Now, outside of the engine, we are still likely to get an eight-speed dual-clutch transmission, although there has been some rumors suggesting that we may get a nine-speed dual-clutch transmission. Either way, it's likely to be very similar to the base model C8 transmission offering, whether there's an extra gear or not. Moving on, we recently saw some leaked pictures of the Z06 showing some new options, a different style spoiler, and some front dive planes that will definitely assist in the aero of the car. Now, these are options that are likely going to be reserved for the Z07 package or some sort of special aero kit for the car. Odds are pretty good the base Z06 won't come with anything that aggressive. 
Chevy did something very similar with the C7 Corvette Z06. With the Z07 package, you got extra front canards and an additional wicker bill in the rear that connected the two winglets on the spoiler for additional downforce. So it's not out of the question that Chevy will offer additional aero for the Z07 car over the base Z06. But let's get into why you guys clicked on this video. Let's get into the bread and butter of what we're talking about today. And that is going to be an option that is likely again to come to only the Z07 package. And that is carbon fiber wheels. Now, if you guys are familiar with the channel, you have heard me talk about carbon fiber wheels before and I rave about them because I love the idea, but at the same time, I don't. I think it's a really cool offering. I think it's something that's definitely different. It really helps keep the rotational mass of the car to a very bare minimum, but at the cost of reliability. And that's what the video is about today. Is the carbon fiber wheel offering something that you should consider? As much as I love carbon fiber, and as much as I love the idea of carbon fiber wheels on a sport car like the Z07 package Z06 is gonna be, I'm gonna have to say no. So not too long ago, guys, I was looking for some new wheels for my C7 Corvette ZR1, and I was on the hunt for wheels for my C8 Corvette. I had done a lot of research on it, and I almost pulled the trigger on a set of carbon fiber wheels for my ZR1, and the biggest reason I decided not to, outside of the fact that they were insanely expensive, is because you pay a ton of money for them to find out that they're only warranted for one month against out of round. Now what out of round means is literally the wheel will not necessarily maintain a perfectly round shape when you drive it. You could potentially knock that carbon fiber out of a perfectly round shape, making it more oval than round, and you can imagine what happens if you're driving on an oval shaped wheel. Yeah, it would not be great. Needless to say, I decided against that. As the leaks keep coming out for the Z06, I keep hearing about these carbon fiber wheels. And like I said, I love the idea, but I also hate the idea. Because if you put these wheels on a Z06 and you drive it around town and you are hitting potholes or you hit basically anything with the low profile tires, which are also very likely to be run flats, which makes them even stiffer, it's going to break the wheel. Outside of the fact that you could have a problem with the wheel going out of round, you could also break them. You guys are probably pretty familiar with a channel called Speed Phenom. He has a Mustang GT500, a new one, and it has the carbon fiber wheels. He had some problems with them breaking. So again, not necessarily the best option, especially if you plan on daily driving this car. If you're using it for nothing but track use, maybe. Maybe it's a good idea. But even then, it's an expensive fix if those break. Not to mention the danger on your life if they break while you're on the track. For any of you guys out there who aren't familiar with the carbon fiber wheel offering for the C8 Corvette Z06, I will throw some images up here on the screen so you can see what was recently put up on eBay this past February showing some wheels for sale that had GM part numbers stamped into them. The description for them was apparently OEM test slash validation wheels and this is what we got. Now I'm not 100% sold on the design of these wheels, but because they are test wheels, they may not look anything like that. But either way, you can tell they are full carbon fiber wheels. So the problem we've talked about this entire video still applies here, even though the benefits are still there as well. Now, our friends over at the Corvette Blogger actually put out a little bit of an article about this as well. They started out with one of the major rumors surrounding the C8 Corvette Z06 is, of course, the option for carbon fiber wheels. Carbon fiber wheels offer a reduction of unsprung mass for better performance and handling, so we know why Corvette engineers would be interested in offering such an option. Carbon Revolution has been considered the most logical vendor for the wheels as they are currently an OEM provider of carbon fiber wheels with customers that include Ford and Ferrari. So they are the ones that make the wheels for the Ford Mustang GT500 that we're talking about here and they broke. Apparently in his YouTube video talking about these wheels breaking, the comment section gets interesting where a lot of the people are saying that they would literally only use those carbon fiber wheels on the track and daily driving, they would have another set to put on there instead. While a lot of the other ones were saying they wouldn't trust carbon fiber wheel at all. And up until recently, I kind of felt the same way. I thought, how can you use something like carbon fiber 
to support the entire weight of your car while going around turns and things. Now, the big thing I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask me about is the C7 Corvette lineup having their own issues with cracked wheels. Now, that is something much different than what I'm talking about now, because when I say broken or out of round for the carbon fiber, I literally mean almost shattered wheels. And when the out of round thing happens, that's definitely not something that happens with the C7 wheels, but they do develop tiny cracks that would allow the air to release, and obviously that's a problem. So. That is an issue that Chevy and the owners of the C7 Corvette have been battling back and forth because if you hit a pothole, or even if you don't, some people have noted that these little cracks form while they're not even driving the car aggressively. So that is a separate issue, although it is still an issue. It doesn't 100% apply to what we're talking about here though because I am specifically making this for the C8 Z06 and its carbon fiber wheel offering. Like I said, guys, these wheels are not cheap. So if you were to get the C8 Z06 with the Z07 package or just an option for these carbon fiber wheels and one of them breaks or gets out of round, it is very likely to not be covered under warranty and you will have to pay out of pocket to replace them and it is going to be expensive. So like I said in the beginning, as much as I am a fan of carbon fiber, I am a huge fan of carbon fiber wheels. I do not think I would take this option unless I had a really nice set of aftermarket wheels to go on the car as soon as I got it home, which in my opinion kind of defeats the purpose of having a carbon fiber wheel, but I guess it is what it is. What do you guys think? Would you option your C8 Z06 with carbon fiber wheels? And if you would, let me know down below why you would. But if you wouldn't, obviously, let me know down there as well why you wouldn't consider doing that. What are your overall thoughts of the carbon fiber wheel options on any car? especially the C8 Z06. I'm curious to hear what you guys think about these wheels and if it's something you would ever consider. But anyway, guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. So if you liked what you saw, please give me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions about the C8 Corvette Z06 or any C8 Corvette, please leave them in the comment section down below and I will make sure you get an answer. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'm gonna have loads of C7, C8, and just general automotive car content coming you are not going to wanna miss. And as always guys, I will catch you in the next upload.